Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Grand Dragon Yeti here in Arnold. This is a question that gets asked a lot around the interweb and it's not really answered. And when it's answered it's kind of a bit confusing and doesn't make much sense. And also on the on the Yeti documentation that doesn't make much sense either. So I'm here just to clear, clear things up and make sure that you can get this working because the Arnold renderer is extremely amazing. It's my favourite renderer that I've ever had so far and Yeti hair system is equally as awesome. So we're going to start off by browsing to your Yeti install folder. It should be on your C drive, just from computer, C, Yeti. I should point out I don't know how to do this for Mac or Linux, so apologies there. This is just for Windows. You're going to come to it where it says PG Yeti Maya here, click on that, and open that with WordPad. Perfect. Right, where it says Path to Yeti Root, there, all you want to do there is place in this path here. So it's going to be C colon backslash yeti dash v uh, 1.3.10 underscore my 2014 slash windows 64. There we go, that's that. Okay, so what you want to do is control S, save that, and then just close it. Perfect, that's that bit done. Right, next you want to browse through environment variables, variables. You do this by opening start menu and typing in environment. Now it says edit the system environment variables. You're going to need to be an ad system administrator to edit these. And you want to come down to where it says system variables and then click M. And you should find Maya module. So you just want to scroll down until you find Maya underscore module underscore path. If you can't find that, you want to click new, type it in, all capitals, Maya underscore uh, module module underscore path then where it says variable value you want to type in this same path here so just click there copy and then paste that in there and you click OK but if you've already got one you want to click on my module underscore path my underscore module underscore path and you want to click edit come down to here you, you'll probably have something in here however many things I don't know but you want to go to the end right to the end so there's you know there's the last thing semicolon and you want to put in exactly the same thing now. C, colon, backslash, Yeti folder there. Then just click OK. That's that bit done. And that's it. Yeti is now installed. It's usable in Maya. And it's also usable by Arnold. So, that's that bit done. So we click OK, click OK. We can save all that. That's all done. Beautiful. You can now look at your background. And then open Maya 2014. Alright, once Maya is loaded up, you want to make sure that Yeti is working and installed, so you want to go to Windows, Setting Preferences, Plugin Manager. Scroll down here, and you should see pgyetimaya.mel, then you just want to click Load, not to load. If you don't see this, you want to click Browse. You want to browse to your Yeti install folder on your C drive, go to Plugins, and then just select pgyetimaya, then click Open. And that will load that in. Now, Yeti's installed, it's working, it's perfectly functional, but it's not going to render in Arnold yet. So we'll just create a sphere, we'll just quickly create a Yeti node group. So you want to click this button here, and then click this one here. Import, you want to import your mesh, that being our P sphere. No, perfect, let's create a quick, quick scatter node. Perfect, let's set this to 100, because why the hell not? Next, let's click Grow. Massive hair there, let's click 0.4 and then let's go to uh, 0.7. Add some randomness in there, why not? There we go, there's our hair. It's absolutely beautiful, we spent hours working on it and it looks absolutely amazing. Not really. But anyway, we're going to just add in an Arnold light and you'll see that when I click render here, nothing's going to show up. It's not going to like it, it's not even going to render the sphere. It doesn't like it at all. Do so you want to go to your render settings here? Make sure you're on the Arnold renderer, go across the system, and where it says procedural search path, you want to put in your Yeti root there, backslash bin. Because in your bin folder there is the Arnold plugin that's needed for Arnold to render Yeti hair. So just close that, that's all loaded, and click render. And you start to see, quite slowly here, that the Yeti hair is rendering within Arnold. And it looks amazing, but it, you make it look even more amazing by adding the Arnold hair shader. I'm not really going to go into that, just know that it does work. 
The hair is fully functional now. Yeti is working with Arnold. Arnold is work working with Yeti. It's beautiful. It's amazing. My two favourite plugins in the world have now smushed together into something spectacular. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, go down to the comments below and just ask away. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. If you want any more tutorials on Yeti, also comment below, like the video. And I shall see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.